All right, welcome back to the Balls Deep Fantasy Show. I'm your host, uh, Alex Chick, also go by Chickster. Uh, I guess Garrett, I, Garrett, I hate that you update your fucking record every week. I, I hate that. I hate that so well, much. As, as soon as I start dropping games, I'll stop doing it. But as long as, oh, as, long as this train God. keeps rolling. God damn. It's like the Steelers, man. They went like 12-0 and 0 or something like that. And like they ended up just kind of just. Hey, listen, you know I've, lost, I've lost one. I've lost one. That, that was your humble. That was your humble. Like, that was humble yeah. loss a humble <laughs> loss. That's it. I'm done with it. Uh, anyway, we got a uh, pretty good fantasy show for y'all today. It's uh, not, not, it shouldn't be too long, but I feel like it will be a little bit of a really mixing real life and fantasy together. Uh, Garrett, we're gonna we're gonna start before we talk about me and you, mano y mano here. We're gonna That's go right. we're gonna go straight into the trade deadline because well, trade deadline's on Tuesday, but by the time that we will record, then we won't be able to talk about you know what we think before happens, but then we can analyze next week. What we'll we'll live reactions next Tuesday. The, the aftermath, you know what I mean? That's right. Bro, bro, I'm telling you, we're like on the same Never page. Had. So we are going to talk about the trade deadline a little bit. Uh, and then after that, we will uh, talk about me and you, you know. That's right, because we, we play each other in two leagues this week. Oh, I, how did, first of all, how did that work? A casual league and a side league, we, we play each other. We won't, we won't talk about the casual league all that much. Because apparently I cheated, but you know, like we'll we'll talk about the side like that man. That shit really it, that really irks me. That that really well, irks me. You, you dropped it in the the sleeper chat and then just didn't comment on it again. And we were no, all it p- pissed me off because like you know, how are you gonna say I cheated and then my team my team is like like before my team was good, like my team was stacked. Like I, I mean, I, I'm being disrespected. I will you admit, know. you, you, you did have a pretty nice team. Like, dude, I mean, it's like I've, I've been trading every week. I'm wheeling and dealing this shit. I'm fucking Danny Ainge, whatever. Like, trying to like fucking deal things. Like, just acquire fuck, pieces. <laughs> fuck, dude. Like, I, like, I've been working every week for this shit. Like, I analyze. So it's like, man, to say, oh, I cheated is fucking. It's ridiculous. Anyway, little side rant right there. Okay, just There's to get castle. it out of the way. All right. So trade deadline and trade deadline is very important because really when pieces are moved, that can affect their, you know, uh, they're kind of like the target share. Uh, they could be the new number one in a new team. Uh, this some some wide receivers could be on a really bad team, go to a really good team with at least a decent quarterback. All that affects everything. So, uh, Garrett, give me give me a guy that you're looking at at the trade deadline that, hey, you're thinking maybe if this guy moves or you might be take a preemptive stripe and go ahead and get this guy in the hopes that he's moving. I, I You have to assume that there's a lot of rumbles out of Chicago that Allen Robinson maybe should be on the move because he just hasn't performed this season. And, like, to, to his defense, he's had Andy Dalton and Justin Fields throwing to him. But then again, last year he had – we know who. So <laughs> I, I think that I think that going into this trade deadline, like the talent there, like we, we know that from last year, he had a career year. He went absolutely insane last year. I think that if you can get Allen Robinson on a team that desperately needs a wide receiver, the Green Bay Packers. I then that trade they're not I, in division rival though. You can't but I that. dude, I, I feel like a guy like that has to be on the Packers radar. So if you get him with a guy like Aaron Rodgers or someone super competent at quarterback if you were able to buy low on him before the deadline, almost no matter where he goes, I feel like it, he, he might he might return you something. Hey, hey, no, no, this just popped in my head. How does this sound? But Allen Robinson, okay, trade him to the Saints, right? Trade him to the Saints. You got Alvin Kamara, Allen Robinson. I know, I know, we're talking about competent quarterbacks, but. And then you got Michael Thomas too. When he comes, we don't, back. we don't know how my, we don't know how Michael Thomas is going to look though. He'll be back. He'll be back. He, he's coming back. He's coming back. So you Wait, got those though. three. I, uh, yes. That's the thing too is we don't know when he's coming back. Yes. Yes. You got to be patient. But Alan, I do, I do think Allen Robinson is going to be on the move. I think, um, and it sounds weird saying that, saying that the because the Bears really don't have a lot of weapons. David Montgomery's out. But Allen Robinson just hasn't really performed. And it could be like, eh, his time in Chicago is up. It's not like he's not a talented player. I think it's just like, you know, it's not 
the connections out there. It's not clicking. Well, it, it's crazy to think that going into the season, like a lot of people, I think you and I had this. Oh, I had I him know, super high. Allen Robinson was going to be a top ten wide receiver. He's like he was going to establish himself as top ten in the league, and then oh, now yeah. he's gonna, he's going to be dealt to the deadline for a fifth round pick, <sighs> a fourth, a fifth maybe. I would say fourth or third. If they get the third form, probably get the third form. Honestly, his his like his value this year has been so low. Yeah, his performance so, rather. I mean, they get. I feel like they could. I mean, hate to say it, but Kansas City's kind of looking for a wide receiver. They have Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey. They, and... they do not need the trade for anything on offense. They need to go out and acquire every defensive no. player on the trade block. Garrett, I don't know what you're talking about. Like the only reason why teams win is on offense. Defense like does not matter. Like a team can be the thirtieth defense, but if your offense is good enough, if your quarterback is good enough, and yes, this is a Raiders rant, okay, then you then, like you have we're, you we're have to six minutes forty five seconds into the stream. I'm we are going to the Raiders. I, bam, <laughs> you know, I, we're record. going bye week. I, we're on the bye week. I, I got I got to throw in a little bit of sprinkle in there, but no, I mean it's just that's fair. I'm trying to think of a team right now. Off the top of my head, because you know I like Green to Bay. Green Bay has the biggest need for wide receivers. They're, they're not going to. Ch- they like I, and you know I'm petty. You know I'm petty, right? If I'm a GM of the team, and <laughs> and the division rival calls me, I'm like, okay, I'm not picking that up. Sent that shit to voice. Okay, but like, okay, but here, but for example, though, like you, we Send were talking about if, if Allen Robinson, if you're getting like fifth round offers for him, and then Green Bay comes in with a third. Uh, I still wouldn't try to consider that. But Garrett, I like like I said, I'm petty. I ain't gonna call my division rival in the first place. Okay, how about this? And then I gotta give you more because we're division rival? Fuck you. Okay, how about this? Another wide receiver that should be on the trading block is Brandon Cooks out of Houston. What about a guy like Brandon Cooks in Houston or in Houston in Green Bay? That's fair. I'll I'll take that. Packers need any wide receiver they can get, but they're not gonna be able to get Allen Robinson, was my whole point. I don't know, dude. I feel I, like not every human walking planet Earth is as petty as you. There's not a lot of them. I, I don't. Sure. But you're talking about football guys that are GMs, like competitive. Like, I'm not I doing it. Well, it's I, a good I, thing I, you're not a GM, ain't it? I could put, bro. Put me on the fucking Jets right now. I could build a better team than they can right now. Put me in fucking Houston. I could put a better team right now. Give me two seasons. I got it. Two seasons to what? Two seasons. To have a to have what? Huh? A winning record? I, I, a winning record. I bet I could. Two seasons. That's all I need. Ooh. So you mean go. to tell me you go to, sitting go to right Houston. now? No, I no, go no, to no. Houston right now. You sitting trade right everybody. now. In two years, you're gonna be nine and eight. Yeah, got it. Minimum. Easy. H- Houston's probably a little bit easier because that division's a dumpster fire, but. I mean, outside of Tennessee, obviously. I'm, I'm going to the Jets. I'm going to New York. I can do it in New York. Certainly not. Buffalo, B- Buffalo runs the division. Miami's going to figure it out eventually. So you're going to compete with the Patriots. No, I can go to New York. For, and Yeah, I'd, I'd fix that team up. No. But Allen Robinson, yeah, no. He, I think he's going to be dealt. Um, I, and I feel like the Bears are, like, in a really bad position. I think the worst position to be is not rebuilding – not winning, but like right, always stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle. That is the worst spot to be. Like you're not going to be a playoff team, but you're also not going to have a top five pick. Exactly. Like you know what I mean. Or even if you make the playoffs, you're like a wild card team, and you you make it barely, at, like as a seven seed, get knocked out. Because then that like, fucks up your draft pick. Yeah, it fucks up everything. You know what I mean? Like I and I get it. Like I'm on the outside looking in. As a GM, as a coach, the, the expectation Did, is to win games. I get that. But didn't that happen to Philadelphia a year or two ago? They won the division with a shitty record, and they would have had like top ten, but they ended up with like mid to late tens, early twenties. I think I think it was Maybe. some team in the NFC East. Could have been. Could have been. Uh, who won the division last last year? Couldn't tell you. I think uh, that division is awful. Washington. 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 I can tell you what Washington's draft pick was. They had one last year. I don't remember. But that's the thing. You know what I mean? 
Uh, I like I do like I do like the idea of Brandon Cooks on uh, in Green Bay though. But I mean, Devontae Adams is out. Uh, MVS on IR. I think Alan Lazard. No. Yeah, I saw no, something about No, Randall well. Cobb, or is it? Is, oh no, Alan Lazard's on COVID. Uh, Randall Cobb. If you have Randall Cobb in the league, or if you need a wide receiver to fill in today, Randall Cobb. Uh, Robert Tonyan would be a good pickup this Big week. Big Bob Tonyan, dude. He, yeah, like, he's a, he's a sneaky pickup if you need a guy this week. Oh yeah, no, I, I I don't I don't even think he's that bad of a tight end, honestly. So I think uh, if you need some depth, you could just keep him on the bench, you know, whatever. for a week. Yeah, so, drop him I mean, for drop him for a second defense that you have or something. This is what you do. here's a strat right here. Get Robert Tonian. He pops off this week. Trade. No. I that's something I would do. Yeah. Well, good luck trying to find anybody to trade him. I got someone to try get Dearness Johnson. I, can we talk about like I listen between you and me? Let's 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 be honest here, right? We've, we've been friends for a very long time, over a decade, which is fucking crazy, right? Do you have, like, a magic wand that you use when you go to trade with people? Because you have so many fucking trades that you just, like, blatantly win. And the other person's like, yep, I'm so fucking good with this trade. This is fantastic. Now, yes, the, like, the trick is to make people think they're winning the trade. Like, think of it this way. You traded, you, uh, no, Christopher traded me Tyreek Hill, right? Mm. I was like, cool, right? I know Tyreek Hill. Everyone's like, fuck, that's Tyreek Hill, right? Using that, I was like, watch this. I'm going to throw Tyreek Hill in there, throw some other players that I'm like, hey, give me this guy. Give me this guy. But Because you're getting Tyreek Hill out of it, but you're not looking at, hey, this, these are the guys I'm getting. You know what I mean? Yeah, All but not, Ty- not Ty- everybody Ty- has the – Like, think about it, though. Tyreek Hill was the biggest name in that trade I had. Okay, for for, for context. And I know this is not a lot of time. I traded Tyreek Hill. I traded um, Dearness Johnson I- and uh, Zach Moss. That's who I traded. I traded those three. In return, I got uh, Najee Harris, James Robinson, and Rashad Bateman. Yeah, I was just like, what the fuck are we doing? But who's the biggest name on that list? Yeah, but like, I don't know, dude. That it it just seems to me, and I I I know we're not giving a lot of context to this, but like, Alex has pulled off like four trades this year, five or something like that. He's won every single one of them. There, every single every single trade I look at, I'm just like, man, like this is kind of close. No, it's like every single person is giving up shit to Alex and just not getting a lot of shit back. And I'm like, great. That's fantastic. Love that for us. I'm kind of mad because I I had Mark on the fucking ropes for Eckler these past two weeks. On the ropes. I was right there. We tripped at the finish line. Ooh. Oh, I had – Garrett, and I, I, I don't I, – I'm saying this because I don't think I'm going to trade with Mark anymore because he pisses me off. I was only going to give up James Robinson. That was probably – I was going to give up James Robinson, CeeDee Lamb, and somebody. Uh, Allen Robinson. And I was going to get Austin Eckler, uh, Russell Gage, and Michael Thomas. That was, that was, that was it. And I was like – that's, that's, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like, but it, doesn't make any, it doesn't make any I sense was to me. Right there, dude. Oh, it makes me mad. But no, like, I just you have to know, like, I'm 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 anticipating what people are trying to what what they're thinking, right? I'm trying to I'm trying to be like like DJ. If you trade him a Packers player, he automatically likes to trade more. I didn't give him any Packers players, but he likes to trade just a little bit more. Christopher. So what you're saying is I'm going to pick up Tanya this week. Christopher Raiders player. You get a you get a Raiders play. You throw a Raiders play at him. He likes it a little bit more. I have Brian okay. Edwards. Yeah, I mean, like, so I don't know. I just what I like to do is throw a flashy name that people like, but maybe I don't like as much. I really don't like Tyreek Hill as much. He's very boom or bust for me. On the weeks he booms, awesome. I traded Tyreek Hill. Guess how many points he had last week? Hmm. Like. 
like five. Yeah, and then I trade away AJ Brown last week, and he had like almost thirty. I would have kept AJ Brown because I like AJ Brown. I d- I do too, and I tried to keep him. You're hurting That's for okay. running backs. That, no, I, I am hurting for running backs. It's true, and you have the fucking monopoly on it. Oh, I know. I'm I'm and I'm man. If I would got Eckler, man, I'm. But then what I would have done? Traded some running backs, get some better quarterbacks. My quarterbacks are my worst thing right now. So. Anyway, I, I have a quarterback you can have. Ah, that's not, I, don't, I don't like your trades. What? Why? Because you do the same thing I do. <laughs> you try to win every trade. And listen, and listen, I got Mike Williams on the trade block right now, so I, we can well, we can what, talk. What, what? What was the message I put right after that? that I'm gonna want the moon and stars for Mike Williams, <laughs> and I do because <laughs> I need a running back. So, I mean, like, bro, I don't know. Cordell Patterson didn't like Cordell Patterson. Do other other people like Cordell Patterson? Traded him. You know what I mean? Who's still performing well, though, by the way. D. Ernest Johnson traded him right when Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb, like, demand, like, supply and demand. I'm telling you. I don't know why any person would want to trade for him. Like, yes, he had a great week, 110 yards and a touchdown, I think, right? But, but they dropped him. But, but Nick, yeah. <laughs> So him. what's the point of trading for him? He got Tyreek Hill, who had five oh, points last week. I'm telling you. I need a running back. Bad. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe not, though. If, if Nick Chubb, com- he's coming back this week, going against Pittsburgh, though, good run defense. So it's going to be a little uh, interesting. Uh, 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 they don't like that matchup is the problem. They hate the matchup of Nick Chubb against the Steelers, which – I do too, and as a fantasy owner who has the Steelers defense and Nick Chubb on my fantasy team, hate it. But it it should be interesting because this team is going to be coming back almost a almost hundred percent. Uh, the Cleveland Browns are so you're hoping that Nick Chubb can try and find some of like who he really is. But then again, going against the Pittsburgh Steelers who have the defense who's underperforming this year, but very good up front. Front four, front seven, very good. TJ Watt on the edge. Going to have to run in between the blocks for sure. But it should be interesting. I would, he's probably a low end start. I don't think you bench Nick Chubb yet. But if you can have Nick Chubb at least play up to his average, I think he's projected to get, let's see, 15 points this week, 16. Uh, he's projected 16-3. So e- even if you get like something like 13 out of Nick Chubb, maybe maybe a touchdown late in the game or something like that, but the yards aren't great, you got to consider a guy like Nick Chubb going forward to at least be a starter, even though I have him on the trading block. Uh, one other guy that we wanted to talk about real quick that's on the trading block is Odell Beckham. Alex, how uh, how's the situation going? Around? I know, fuck. Someone tried to deliver a pizza here, I guess. And (laughs) the dogs weren't having it. They They were were losing their minds. Like this wasn't on our agenda. So (laughs) we almost got a free pizza, but I was like, "Mm, it's not our street. Sorry. You should have took it. What the fuck? No, that's not nice. Yes, it I already ate. (laughs) So (laughs) (laughs) you know what I mean? Uh whoa. Odell Beckham. Yeah, I think Odell Beckham could be traded, honestly. Do you think, like, what kind of what kind of situations would Odell need to end up in to have his fantasy value grow this year? Because right now Someone it's not with Baker great. Mayfield. If I, or I, I can't blame it all on Kevin or on Baker Mayfield. Kevin Stefanski runs a very run heavy offense. That's why Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt are very, uh, very prevalent, very good fantasy. Uh, I mean, lightens the load for Baker Mayfield. Odell needs to go to a pass heavy option or pass heavy offense to where he will be able to succeed pass heavy offense with less targets. So uh, I, 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 I hate to think of it and you're going to hate it. You're going to hate it too. But like, dude, Odell Beckham in Kansas city is kind of tasty. Oh, it's, it they is, should it's never trade for an offensive player. Well, they well should have for an offensive player. you were saying that he should go to a pass heavy offense. And right now seeing that their defense can't, keep other teams out of the end zone, they're going to be passing the ball a ton. 
This would be that would be man, that checks out. I'm not gonna lie to you. It checks like, out. I like yes, I am of the opinion that Kansas City should not trade for offensive players, but if they're going to but you know what I mean yeah. you gotta look for one of those two receivers. I I wouldn't go after Allen Robinson because this, this offense is speed. So yeah. someone like Brandon Cooks or maybe you know, Odell Beckham wouldn't be so bad. Patriots, I feel like, are in the market for a wide receiver. I feel like they should be, at least. You don't think they're sellers? No. Well, I mean, I guess not. They're three and four. They're they're worst position to be, right? Are we are we Man, changing? the AFC East is fucking garbage this year. The Jets and the Dolphins are bringing that division down. Yeah. Well, and then the Patriots aren't just poor Jackson. I feel bad for his Dolphins. Yeah, that's that that whole situation over there is not ideal yeah. for anybody. I you don't you know who's on the trade block? That yeah, I mm. I I took the preemptive strike, or mm. who who's who's trade deadline hit? Deshaun Watson. I it's, I, I, I guess legal I troubles guess for, legal troubles are nothing like. I, I picked him up. I was ready for I that. Can't, I can't see a scenario where Deshaun Watson gets moved only because why would you play him? Because he's got all this shit going on. Roger Goodell, today, I got a tweet for it, today, said if Deshaun Watson got traded today, he would play tomorrow. I, I and, and, like, to me, like, if, if I was the owner of a team, all of his shit going on outside of football scares the shit out of me. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I yeah. I would not touch him. I don't care if my starting quarterback is, oh uh, fuck, who's the who's the Jets starter this this week? Some fucking Mike bum. White. Yeah, I don't care if my quarterback's Mike White. I'm starting Mike White for 16 games over trading for Deshaun Watson. And you know what? Joe Flacco got traded. Like Jets went after Joe Flacco before they went after Mike White. Playoff Joe. Ah. Fucking hate uh, Joe Flacco. As a fantasy owner, though, Deshaun Watson. And anywhere but Houston would be electric. Imagine a team like Washington with Terry McLaurin and then Curtis Samuel when he comes back. Oof. Oof. He, I, there or if Christian McCaffrey like, gets healthy, like a team like Carolina would be very good. With a good I think defense. Carolina's out. I think I think they're sticking with Sam Darnold. I listen a it. A under the rate, maybe probably not under the radar team, but like a team that should take a look at moving for Deshaun Watson, Denver Broncos. Oh yeah, absolutely. And that was, that, that was the rumblings in the offseason, and I would literally want. And we're on Twitch. Something to myself. <laughs> if I had to be in a division with Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Deshaun Watson. At six games out of the year, we could probably lose four of those. Uh, like, why? Like, why? Like, at that why? point, at that point, and they're all young too. At that point, file for realignment and go to another division. File for realignment, fuck. Because <laughs> you're you're not winning that division for a decade and a half. Yeah, uh, I feel like uh, can we be in the AFC South? I feel like we're more South than the Colts. You know what I mean? I feel like I. I, a team just popped into my head, and I want to get your thoughts yeah. on it. And I and I know that they drafted a quarterback this year who they're pretty high on. I feel like Deshaun Watson in San Francisco is electric. I feel like they would have I, to. I they would have to three team trade. I feel like Jimmy G would have to go somewhere. I I think Jimmy G would go back. Well, they probably ask for Trey Lance honestly, which I wouldn't blame them. I'd rather have Trey Lance over Jimmy G, but like. Or what, I mean, it, it could be either it could be guys over like fucking your way into the Lions where they, yeah, that's fair. It could be a situation like the Lions and the Rams where they they swap quarterbacks and some picks. I because uh, at this point, Sean Watson is a clear massive upgrade over the both of those. Obviously, I think I think, uh, I think Philadelphia is still on the table for Deshaun Watson, I which would be that, interesting. I I. It's not much of a better situation. He's just out of Houston. So, you know what I mean? But uh, I don't know. J- I'm not sold on Jalen Hurts, as should nobody. Um, I, 
I I understand that like he like isn't contributing to wins, but oh my god, is he a fantasy legend this year? I I, I caught that shit. I was like, not has, a good fantasy. Has not, a good not fantasy, had or, a game under twenty points. I'm like, not a good, not a good quarterback, fantasy quarterback. He's I number mean, two overall in fantasy this year. Holy, uh, that's, I like I was unaware of this. I but, had no idea. But dude, it's because he can run. That's fair. It's his running. Like running quarterbacks in fantasy leagues are OP. Like they they will win you leagues. Before Josh Allen was like the pass, like the the guy that you know throw the ball, and we're like, wow, holy shit, he could fucking throw. He was the guy running the fucking ball, right? He ran the ball and like he got six, and he got like ten rushing touchdowns or something. Like I don't know, but he was like sixth overall, and I was like. The, we, the year before he went number one, I was like, he's going to have a breakout year. He's going to have, like, he'll be a top three fantasy quarterback. Absolutely. Just because he can run and he's going to improve as in passing game. Now, Jalen Hurts, not Josh Allen, but fantasy wise, he's he's going to run the but ball. But he, he might as well fucking damn be. And, yeah. and, and imagine if Philadelphia gets a wide receiver. Yeah. Yeah. Spicy. Fuck. Big spicy. I, I picked up I have people, and so in the side league I had Deshaun Watson. I I auction drafted him for a dollar. Oh my god, for a dollar, right? And then uh, I just picked him up last week as a pre interest. In, in, in our casual league, I drafted him super late, and I tried to trade him for fucking weeks, and nobody wanted him, so I dropped him. Which I'm not sweating about at all because I don't think he plays this year. But no, he'll play. I don't. I. I like. I can't. I can't see a situation where Deshaun Watson plays this year. I just can't. He's playing. Absolutely, he's playing. Just talked to his agent. Said he's playing. Where's he going? Somewhere. Uh. Yep. Okay. He's going. Got it. He's going somewhere. Um. But so let's talk about. I. I believe this trade went out today. I. I'm still kind of shaky on it because I haven't really been on my phone. Uh, Mark Ingram went to the Saints today, correct? Yep. Okay. So, what what was the trade package on that? Uh, the Saints are getting a late round pick. That's not bad. Which is probably five, six, or seven. That's not bad. Yeah, but I feel like there's better running backs that could have been available. Uh, oh, I, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Marlon Mack. I like Marlon Mack. I think does he's he on the same block. Does he fit the offense though? Oh, well, no, just, you're just talking about better running backs. backs. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying Marlon well, Mack. Yes, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking about from like New Orleans's perspective. They probably saw Mark Ingram as a better fit than Marlon Mack. But yes, I would, I would make the argument that if I was in need of a running back, I'm calling up Indianapolis and asking for Marlon Mack instead. Well, I think what they're going to do is they're going to put more uh, Mark Ingram between the tackles. Uh, they might. Out, like the Saints are hurting so bad for a uh, fucking wide receivers, they're gonna throw. They're gonna put. I saw in a couple sets they were playing against uh, whoever they played, the Seahawks. They put Alan Kamara at fucking wideout. Like they were putting him in the like. So there's they're hurting for you know Marquez Callaway, even though he read my blog. Like you know, still not there. Deontay Harris, I believe, not is quite hurt performing. Now. Yeah, so I mean, it's like they're uh, they're dying for Michael Thomas to come back. Yeah, well. I try trading it for him too. Should should the Saints be a team that should be in on Deshaun Watson? Depends if you believe in Jameis Winston. He hasn't played bad. Not great. He has played but, bad. But let's have a conversation. If you had to choose one quarterback to help lead your team to oh, a, it's not a, a, question. a division, well then what's the point? Then they absolutely well, you can say that about well, you're talking about Deshaun Watson, who's probably be like at least there's probably at least 20 teams in the NFL that should be on Deshaun Watson. Probably. I don't know. If it was me, I, nah, if I was the GM of so the weird. Jets, I would have traded for Deshaun Watson yesterday. I would have traded for Deshaun Watson before the NFL draft. Absolutely. And then drop to the tackle. Yes, just not Penesul. No, 
You draft Rashawn Slater. Looks like Rashawn Slater. So, I don't know. Somebody called that. I don't know who it was, though. Uh, I don't know. That guy's an idiot. I hate that guy. Like, dude, I don't, I don't know, man. So that guy doesn't know a ton. But I, uh, hey, Also, right, right. also oh. TJ Hawkinson, number four overall fantasy tight end. Let's hey, go. That's like, a, that's like a writing thing. We still got – we're not even – we're barely a third of the season. We're good. <laughs> we're listening. We're good. Hey, listen, though. Listen, if we can just be on four and not on six – I'm chilling. It's six, bro. It's going. He's gonna be six. I'm ready for it. But, but okay. It, if he finishes five, is it just, is it just a wash? No, five. Top five. He's top five. You win. Okay, fair enough. Is that, that's what we said. Top five. He's, he's okay. five. Yes, for those of, for those who are listening who like didn't know the bet before the season started, Alex, I, I said that I thought TJ Hawkins was gonna be a top five fantasy tight end. Alex thought I was full of shit. Well, it started out because I just wanted to shit on Jared Goff, and then Garrett came yes. in chirping at me about fucking TJ Hawkins. Yes, and I was because, like, fuck that guy. Alex said that uh, Jared, he wrote a blog, I think, that Jared Goff had nobody to throw to. And I said, I guess TJ Hawkins doesn't play football anymore. And then he wrote another blog saying TJ Hawkins sucks. And I was like, <laughs> okay, let's address this. <laughs> no, I was just like, that was just me being petty. I was just saying, fuck TJ Hawkins. Like, who gives a shit about that guy? So, I don't know. Me. I, bro, Lions are winning against the Eagles this week. I feel it. I feel it in my nuts. I feel like it's happening. Probably. I, I, I mean, that team is – ooh, God, that's loud. Um, that, that team has been so close to winning games. They they are the most competitive winless team probably ever. Dan Campbell, big dick energy, man. That guy's got I big I love energy. me some Dan Campbell. Onside oh, kick, fake punt. I, I the energy I need. That's what I, Detroit needs too. Against against the team like the fucking Rams, like not even. It'd be not different even if like, he did like, that against like the Jets or something. Yeah, he's like, oh, he's but just trying to win. Against but you're Rams. doing that shit against the Rams. You're like, no, like this man goes into every game, and you know, people say, you know, people try to win every game. No, this man, like. He tries to win games like he's going to die if he doesn't win games. And that is like... Well, you you saw the... I think it was last week's press conference or two weeks ago where he cried. He, oh, like, yeah. he like, got emotional because his team was like so close to picking up a win and like lost it at the end. Like That's like, the kind of coach bro, I want, dude. I, 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 I run through a wall for that guy. I, I, I'm saying, like, imagine his like energy when he loses. His energy if he wins the game. <laughs> oh, my God. Crackhead energy. Yeah, I'm with Sheer it. Sheer crackhead. I'm with it. That's that's the nah, Detroit. Detroit has nice pieces and uh, I think a pretty decent coach. When they pick number one overall and pick, I'm gonna butcher his name, the defensive end from Oregon, who's going to go number one, Thibodeau, Thibodeau, Kavion, Kavon, Thibodeau. At any rate, defensive end from Oregon is gonna go number one. Should go to Detroit because they're probably gonna pick number one. That's ah, just another piece that's going to be so good. Yeah. No, I don't know. Maybe. I, 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 it's because it's I don't like Jared Goff, but I I draft a quarterback. But that's just me. That, that's just because I don't like him. You just hate him. That's okay. I, I don't. I, I would have I would taken Matt Corral. You know what I mean? That's just me. Oh, if, you, but, if you were Detroit? Picking, I uh, know, I don't, I don't think this is the draft class for a number one overall quarterback. Ah. Th- this kid is so talented. God. Like I, th- I think it was last week's game. He had, uh, he had like two and a half sacks, a forced fumble, like four quarterback hits, and he had like a bunch of scouts in attendance. Like this dude can ball. I, can I do that. I'm not, I'm not picking a quarterback first overall this year. I can do that. Matt, Matt Corral's good. And he'll probably go top five, but there's just so many good players. I that ahead of Matt Corral should be Matt Corral should be the first quarterback taken off the board. More than likely, yes. I'm not big on the college football quarterbacks this year, but no. or, I don't are not not big. I don't know a lot. Rather, it's, it's, I don't know if I said that or not. But they're, they're all right. It's not a good class. It's not like last. It's year's not like last year's class. class. No, that's completely it's not like last year's class for sure. But no, I think him. And then Derek Stingley from LSU are both oh, two no, that players that you take that ahead of. Crazy. Good, that guy's nasty. 
or or maybe even uh, Kyle Harrison out of Notre Dame. Maybe another guy that you take <laughs> over Matt Corral. I told you I don't like drafting. You don't like Notre Dame players, and I understand. But this dude, I like Notre Dame linemen. He's good, man. Like <laughs> yes, Notre Dame can produce some offensive linemen for sure. Like that. That's like I was like, okay, there's this guy from Notre Dame. Whoa, 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 whoa. What position? Offensive line. Take him. I'm, I'm I sold. want him. Sold. Sold. You don't even. You don't even know what position he plays. Doesn't matter. I don't need to. I mean, I, you don't need to assess. I need him. Just get him. Is he Just healthy? Him. Yep. Does he play uh, on the offensive line? Yep. Uh, send it. Welcome to the Raiders. <laughs> to fucking fucking ten. It's like they're on the first draft pick overall. I mean, like let's say let's say a team's drafting ten. Hey, uh, Roger, I'm gonna go ahead and just send my pick in and give me the guy from uh, Notre Dame. You don't even know. No, no, no. We, I, I didn't ask him if he was gonna be available. I said we're taking him. I said we're taking him. What? You don't even know. It doesn't matter. Uh, with the first pick, the Notre Dame. Select the guy from Notre Dame, offensive lineman, Notre Dame. <laughs> it's just like goes goes to the wall. Goes, goes to the war room. Yes. That's the guy. That was our guy. Better than Alex Leatherwood. Yeah, yeah it's not a tall task, though. Uh, I know. That offensive line stinks. No, that's kidding. not bad. I, that's why I said just kidding. I lied. You know what? Everyone's real side. Like, everybody at the side. Hey, side's listen, real. the Raiders are 5-2. and two. I'm Humble. Humble. The Raiders are 5-2 and two I'm, and leading you know the division. I'm ready. I'm ready to talk shit. I'm. I've been ready. I know you texted me that. <laughs> I oh man, I've been ready. Been disrespected all off season. What's the what's this what's their schedule? Uh, I can tell you. Giants, uh, Chiefs, Washington, Dallas. No. Uh, so, oh, Giants close. up first. Chiefs up next. Bengals, Cowboys, Washington, Kansas City again. So the Giants, easy win. The Chiefs, at this point, looking potentially like a win. The Bengals and Cowboys games are going to be tough. Oh, those are going to be tough. I'm going to the Cowboys game. That'll be fun. That'll are be you? Fun. I am. That's that's the Thanksgiving game. Oh, that, dude, I did not sick. Yeah. I did not know you were going. That's going to be so sick. That's why we're, that's why we're going to my tears. Oh, gotcha. Mm, yep. How many, how many of y'all are going? Uh, six. I think Augie's going. To the football game? Yeah, he's a, he's a Cowboys fan. Hmm. So it'll of be, course it'll be, of course he is. Uh, yeah. It should be me. Where are you guys to see that? I don't know. I'm just happy to go. Upper Bowl? Uh... I think it's lower upper bowl. So like nosebleed lower, but in the upper bowl. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Because that originally, originally we we my dad did buy Raiders tickets. Um, but they were like they you know COVID or whatever. So we got a, we got uh, a refund and then like an extra like twenty percent, um, mm-hmm. like value on them. So we could get better seats. So, and we weren't going to a Raiders game because those Raiders games were like seven hundred dollars for nosebleeds. Yeah. Oh my god, I was pissed. You know how bad I want to go to that stadium. Oh, I, I'm sure that stadium's nice. As I, hell. Bro, it's it's on my bucket. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. No shot. I'm. 100%. But yeah, you know what I mean. So I don't even know what we were talking about anymore. Uh, we were talking about <laughs> uh, Alex Leatherwood took us to the Raiders. We're talking about um, we were talking offense. about the Lions. We were, we were talking about the Lions' first pick this year. Yes. I yeah. Okay. We got to get back to fancy here. We got to get back to fancy. God, stop getting me off. Give, stop getting me off topic. All right, Garrett, but uh, we do have to talk about our matchup in the site league. We won't talk about a casual league uh, just because the site league is more relevant to, uh, you know, well, the people that at the site that watch it and then, you know, you know, 
other people. I'm sure they don't care about us casually. Only business. You know what I mean? That's right. So right now, Will Garrett, as your uh, name suggests, you are six and one. Uh, I'm four and three right now. Um, I thought I was going to win last night. Man, last week killed me in both week leagues just because of the bye weeks. The bye weeks killed yeah. me. But I still almost won. Oh, I was close on both of them. But anyway, Garrett right now uh, has a good chance of winning. He's got uh, – Garrett, I'll let you go over your team. So currently, the I'll let you read your roster, but the current just, projection for the team – I know, I know, but I, and I I wanted to I wanted to reiterate that I'm with you. Okay. Um, the current projection is seventy percent to me. Wait, 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 wait. Should we go? Should we go like position versus position? Like, okay, this is my quarterback. This is your quarterback. Sure, let's do okay. that. Go ahead. Okay, so first. Uh, up first at quarterback, I have Aaron Rodgers. Against the Cardinals. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, yes. Aaron Rodgers is going against the Cardinals. Uh, that's that's that, that's horrible. I hate that. Uh, I have and Kirk have. Cousins going against Dallas. So I think those two games, very competitive games, should be throwing a lot. I'm hoping Aaron Rodgers not having quarterbacks will help me out. Like or run our wide receivers yeah. rather. But you know what unless I mean. they made it, unless they make a move. Yeah, I think you should I mean, just start. They play, they play tomorrow, though. But I think you should start. Yeah, Taysom dude. Hill. Let me let me let me just start Taysom Hill. I'm on it. <laughs> uh, uh, up next are yeah. starting running backs. Uh, I have okay. Javante Williams playing against Washington. You forgot one. You skipped one. Oh, oh yes. Okay, well, well let's do that one first. And we'll go to the next one. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna skip my next one then. Because my first one and your first one are the best guys we have. So, uh, okay, got, let's do that one then. Shit. What, well, well, you already did it. Okay, well, then just read the running back then. <laughs> so I have, uh, I still don't know how to say his name. Chuba Hubbard, the Chuba, yes. Chuba Tuba, the Tuba Chuba, uh, Chuba Hubbard. Uh, he's going against Atlanta. Uh, obviously, you know the number one guy for the Panthers until. CMC comes back. Uh, you have Javante Williams going against Washington. I hope Washington's defense just thrashes the Broncos. Gives you no chance. I Dude, think Javante I, Williams I, I, gives I, three points. I wrote about it at the start of the year that Javante Williams could help you win a league. And so far, nah, nah, he's playing He's playing pretty well. He's playing pretty well. It's, not because, of, it's not because of the first guy, your first running back or your wide receiver, though. No way. Oh yeah, no, because my 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 running back one and wide right receiver one are absolutely out of this world. Yeah. My my running back one is Derrick Henry going against the Colts. Yeah, it's great. I have Austin Eckler, <laughs> uh, which I, I like Austin Eckler. It's just not no Derrick Henry. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, and also this is like, in the PPR league. Uh, uh, yeah, I still like Austin Eckler though. Yeah, well that's fair. That's fine. But it, it's receivers. safe to say. At running back, at least running back one, I am clearly favored there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, wide receivers. Go ahead. Uh, my my wide receiver one is Cooper Cup going against the Houston Texans. I have Michael Pittman. You know what makes me mad? It's like we after like the days after we did the site league because it's the auction league, right? Auction draft. And he cares like, no, I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that shit at all. And here he is with like my team is team. really fucking good, actually. <laughs> Which I didn't feel like I had a bad team. Your team's still a C minus, I don't care. That C minus might win the fucking league this year. Ah, ah. I have Michael Pittman going against Tennessee. Uh Michael Pittman very inconsistent. So I'm hoping for a good consistent. Uh go ahead. Uh, my wide receiver two, I am playing Brandon Cooks, actually. Um, Brandon Cooks has been, like, super under the radar this year, and he's going against the Lally Rams, where Houston should probably be getting blown out by this point. So they're probably going to be pushing the football down the field. So 
Brandon Cooks, two points, if that. Gets two points. Right here? Two points. My next guy. I feel very differently about Mike Evans than I did at the start of the year. Uh, I Oh, well, that by the way, that's my next wide receiver, Mike Evans. Um, but I really kind of underestimated the fact of the targets between – like Godwin and uh, Antonio Brown, and like trying to figure out when Mike Evans is going to have a good week is just trying to figure out, um, trying to be a fucking meteorologist. You really just don't know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, I so I don't know. It's just Mike Evans hasn't been a good. He's he's been all right when he when he has his weeks. He has his weeks, but other than that, he's no. So yeah, you know, I have Mike Evans going against uh, the Saints, which could be. Pretty decent. I just I'm I'm hoping for a lot of yays and Garrett a lot of no's at the point. Go ahead. Are we on the tight ends? Oh, we're on the tight ends. Oh fuck mm-hmm. this guy. My tight end. I had to had to grab TJ Hawkinson, uh, who's going against Philadelphia this week. Cool. I got Jared Cook. Next. <laughs> Are uh, w- would you call this a flex? This, this is, is a definitely flex a flex. Yep, this is flex. Uh, our flex one, we have two flex in our, or I guess the other one's what's it called a super flex? Yeah, it's a super flex because you can start a quarterback. Oh yes. Um, our flex one, I have Cortland Sutton going against Washington. I hope Sutton doesn't even touch the ball. Uh, I got Khalil Herbert right now. Uh. Still probably the number one back until David Montgomery comes back for Chicago. But they are going against the 49ers, so it's not a, the best matchup. But, you know what? At this point, we're hoping for the best. Of course. Okay, go ahead. Our super flex. We're both starting quarterbacks. Uh, but my quarterback just happens to be Joe Burrow going against the Jets. Like, what kind of fucking dumbass said, hey – you know what? Joe Burrow might not have a good year because he has no line to protect him. Like, who? What kind of fucking dumbass says that? You know what I mean? Like, I know, uh, dude. Couldn't be me. <laughs> couldn't be me. Like, uh, I didn't think Joe Burrow was gonna have a bad year, but not this good. Didn't expect uh, dude, Joe, I don't Jamar know. Chase was... to be this good. That's fair, dude. Jamar Chase is fucking insane. But I like, knew in the I, back of my he's head, he's good, but that... he, yeah. Joe Burrow was playing well at the end of last season before he got hurt. He was playing oh, no, well from a perspective. Fine. I just thought he was going to be injured because, like I said, I had no faith in his offense play. Well, sure and I focused, wrong. And I, I focused too much, I feel like, on the offensive line than really just Joe Burrow's ability to just not get hurt but still make plays. That dude is a baller. Uh, and you know what? This is, this is another guy that we, like – we, he's not a very good quarterback, but very good fantasy quarterback. Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones against Kansas City. That should that. be a favorable play, but no, it's no, in no, Kansas no, City but, and no, on but. Monday night. No buts. No buts. It, but it, honestly, Kansas City is due for a win. They're, they're due for a good I performance. I, well, I, I do care if Kansas City wins because I don't want them to. But yeah, you do. I, I, that's that's of course you do. I, yeah, I was, yeah, I was like, but from a fantasy perspective, like I don't care if Kansas City wins as long as Daniel Jones and Kansas City is very competitive and it's a high throwing game, high throwing, or Daniel Jones just runs the ball, and Lord knows Kansas City can't stop the run, and so you know Daniel Jones runs it, shit, let him go. Sure. Thirty point, thirty point game guaranteed from Daniel Jones. Um, 30, 30, 30 fantasy points. I don't care about the kickers. I still don't care about the kickers. I think kickers are stupid. So we're not going to talk about the kickers. Toxic as hell. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is there anybody on your bench that you're like maybe thinking about starting? You're sitting Keenan Allen. That that and I was, that was the name I was about to mention. Is I'm debating starting Keenan Allen over Cortland Sutton. I think. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I, I don't I wanna I don't wanna sit Cooks, but like ah, dude, I don't know. Cooks has had a bad string of games, but like he's he's due though, is the problem. But he's going uh, against a, a, st- a stellar Rams defense. Like I I'm starting Keenan Allen. Um 
I'm starting Keenan Allen every day over one of those guys. Like I don't not know. not it's to help. Be, it's not be to a help. game time decision. I not to help you or anything, but I think you'd be very dumb to send Keenan Allen. It's gonna be a game time decision, I think. Alex, what about you? Is there anybody on your bench where you're looking at and you're like, ah, maybe you should play him instead? Mm, Zach Moss. Uh Uh, I guess quarterbacks. I have Ben Roethlisberger and Sam Darnold. I I picked up five quarterbacks because I was ready to yeah, win and deal with them. But I care more about our casual league because I know y'all more, and I really just I really want to win our casual league. I really want to win our casual league. I got so I, close shit, last I, year. at this point. I just wanted to pick up a win, so I'm chilling. Yes. By the way, I got my first win last week in the casual league. Let's go. <laughs> No, you're not gonna add the context there. No context. No. Not not no not context. the fact that Augie threw that that week. He was like, "I have so many kids, people on by. I'm just throwing this week." Hey, but listen though, I had 173 points last week though, so it would have been tough. Oh, you you would have won. You would have won. Also, just want to throw that out there. I know we weren't gonna talk about it. Uh, I'm also projected to beat Alex in our casual league by 24 points, but neither here nor there. I, I can you want me to go over my, my casual lineup? Your casual lineup's nasty, but my casual lineup is nasty. That's all I'm saying. I think I win. I do I think- you're I don't know, dude. You're projected down dude, I don't know, man. I think Matt Stafford I have Matt Stafford in our casual league. I think he is going to explode against uh, Houston. I think they'll run and the same ball. same thing with Travis Kelsey. I think Travis Kelsey is going to explode against the Giants. I think Travis Kelsey will have a really good game. My only question mark is Nick Chubb and Mike Williams. And I know it, and I know it's crazy to question Mike Williams at this point because he's been balling out this year. But last week he only had two catches for 27 yards. And so it it is makes me a little iffy, but uh, Garrett, I'm I'm telling you, Najee Harris, Dalvin Cook, Keenan Allen, Ceedee Lamb, Mike Jacecki, James Robinson. That's disgusting. Tyler Lockett, disgusting, disgusting. But my lineup is just as disgusting. I, Garrett, I feel like if I start Devonte Adams, he doesn't have COVID. I win this week, without a doubt. All right, bud. I, 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 I don't like you. I, 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 I don't even know. I don't even know why I'm on the show right now. I don't even like you. Why are you on the show? I should just run the show myself. Ah, you don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fool, you don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I, I think you win this. I think you win the site league, casual league, not so much. I'm, I'm fairly confident in both leagues this week, but I will say. Wow. I have more confidence in the site league. Wow. I have more wow. co- if And listen, honestly, at this point, wow. if I drop the casual league, I don't give a shit. At this point, I'm gunning to win the site league. Wow. So that's all, that's all I care about. You, you, you just you win one game in the casual league, and you th- you just think you can win every game. Yes, because I'm, I'm predicted almost 200 points this week. I don't care. I don't care that you don't care. Okay. I'm going to be really sad if I lose in both leagues. If I win one, I'm fine. If I win one, I'm fine. But if I lose in both, I'm going to be a little sad. You folks will just have to tune in next week and find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Whatever. Should, should we pull a Should we pull a, a Tanimal and live tweet the updates for the scores on Sunday? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> you go ahead. You're on. I can't. I can't do it. I'm wor- I work. Ah, so do I. I mean, shit, I, I might work. I don't know. I might be off for a bit. I don't know. Who knows? M- my workplace is uh, potentially about to run rampant with COVID, so. Okay. Fuck. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to win this week. Okay. All right. 
Need yeah. one. It's gonna be the balls deep fantasy show. Shut up! I'm closing. This is balls deep fantasy <laughs> show. <laughs> balls deep fantasy show. Thank you for joining us. Uh, try to join us next week. I know it's Wednesday. Uh, Garrett had something to do, so we had to reschedule. Which you know, I don't hate him for it. Just dislike him a little bit for it. But uh, we'll try to be here Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll. I don't even know. I don't even know. It might be eight. Might we'll, be nine. We'll, might be ten. We'll, we'll, we'll be, be back seven. on Tuesday. We'll, we'll be back on Tuesday. I hope so because I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. Everything's Tuesday, all out of chaos. Nine p.m. Eastern. Be there or be square. Should, should we say like loser has to wear a funny hat? Do you even own a funny hat? I I own a Spurs net hat. I could, I could wear my um I could wear one of those those straw hats that I have. There you go. Okay, that's it. Right. Deal. There. Deal. Wait, wh- which which one are we betting on now? Uh, site league. Just just for the sake of it. Okay, so whoever loses the site league has to wear the funny hat next show. Got you. Got you. Okay. Anyway, we got to get going. Balls deep fantasy show. Uh, I'm your host Alex Chick. Garrett six and one. Hopefully six and two next week. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. But it might be seven and one. I'll, I'll put I'll, if I lose, I'll put it up as well. I'll admit it. I'll, I'll I would hope so. I'll, I'll put I it up. So. I will. Balls deep fantasy show. Join us next Tuesday, nine p.m. Eastern time. Around there. You sometime maybe a little before, maybe sometimes a little after. Always around. You know, we we uh, we're fashionably late at times. You know what I mean? Of but course. join us join us next week. Garrett, we forgot to put out tweet again about questions, but we all have to do that next as well. next week. Next week we'll do it. Scouts it's on. It's happening. It's happening. Okay. Balls deep fantasy show. Join us next week. We'll see you later. Life.